Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this dramatic cut crease. I wanted to do something moth, so I went ahead and did this Dusty Rose makeup look. I think it's perfect right now for fall, as well for winter, pretty much year-round, girl. I would wear this like any day, so I hope you guys enjoy, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm starting off by priming the eyes. I'm going to be taking the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Vanilla. You can use an actual eyeshadow primer. It's all up to you. Recently, I've been using concealers better because for me, I prefer to actually conceal my whole eyelid so that um, veins won't peek through and all that stuff so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over the eyelid and blend it out because it is a concealer it is most likely gonna grease so I like to actually set this I'm taking my Laura Mercier powder and just applying this on the eyelid if you have oily eyelids I recommend you doing this that way your eyeshadow doesn't like crease or anything like that I'm gonna be taking the it cosmetics naturally pretty palette and I'm gonna be taking this kind of mauve I would say dusty rose color in the color soulful I'm applying this on the crease as a transition color I've actually like I have not used this palette in a while but because it does have a lot of mauve colors in it I thought it would be the perfect time to actually pop this out so I'm taking that nice dusty rose applying it on the crease now I'm taking this dark brown it's called Java and I'm taking this with a smaller crease brush and applying this right on the crease I'm not really trying my best to blend this out I'm kind of just carving out that part where I'm gonna cut so I'm just taking that all the way to the inner corner and all the way to the outer corner kind of flicking it up and then as you can see I have a fluffy brush where I'm just taking and blending everything out with that transition color. Now to literally cut the crease, I'm going to be taking some concealer and I'm going to be taking a very small brush and I'm just going to cut it. I'm going to go on my eyelid. I do like to, whenever I do cut creases, I like to just cut it a little bit more above my crease. It just kind of gives it an illusion of your eyelid being just a, a tad bit bigger. So I'm just basically going right over the eyelid and it depends how crisp you want the cut crease. I want mine to be very cut. So I try to do it as precise as possible. Then I'm going to go ahead and clean out the outer part and I want it to be flaring out like a cat eye. So I will go ahead and just kind of curve it out. Then after I have cut the crease, I'm just going to go ahead and take the rest of the concealer and apply it all over the eyelid. One thing I always like to do with cut creases is double check the eyes. As you can see, like it's sometimes kind of hard, at least for me, to get it exactly even. The wing might be just a little bit lower on one side. So I just like to double check and make sure they're, you know, very close. Now I'm going to be taking more Java, that dark brown, and applying some right above that crease because I did notice when I was cleaning up the eye, I did really remove a lot of the brown. So I'm just extending up that a little bit further and then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and blend this all out. It's okay to just put it back. How do I? I don't know. So you just want to make sure you blend, blend, blend. And then after that, I'm going to be taking more of Java, but then I'm taking a smaller brush. As you can see, this is a small flat brush. I'm just really defining that crease so it could look a little bit more sharp and cut. So I'm going to be taking a loose glitter. So I'm going to be first applying this glitter glue by Too Faced. I'm applying this basically all over the eyelid i'm so sorry if i'm getting out of focus like my camera was just playing games today but just ignore it so i'm taking halo by makeup geek i want to say it's more of a pigment because it's not like a complete glitter i can't really explain it so i'm just gonna apply this all over the eyelid and i am working in sections so the glue won't dry quick so here i'm taking more glue and applying some in the outer part of the eye now and then i'm just gonna go ahead and pack on this pigment but notice when i do put on the glue i am placing it correctly i'm still making sure that i still don't go above that crease because if i just put on the glue sloppy the glitter is just gonna kind of ruin everything you know what i mean you still want that eye to look very cut and sharp so now i'm taking what is this color cupcake by makeup geek this is such a cute dusty rose color it's one of my favorite colors by makeup geek or just one of my favorite colors overall i mean it is such a pretty color then again i'm taking a fluffy brush to really blend everything out i'm going to be taking this black eyeshadow from the anastasia self-made palette and i'm taking an angled brush for this i'm applying this right on the eye like if i were applying eyeliner 
but I'm going to fade it out a little bit because I don't want the eyeliner to I can't talk I don't want it to look too perfect I want it to just seamlessly blend out you know what I mean so at first it looks like I'm just applying it like actual eyeliner but now I'm just flicking the brush a little bit upwards so it could be like nicely diffused So now, because I do want the actual root of the eyeliner to be the darkest as possible, I'm going to be taking this NYC Liquid Liner in Black, the best black eyeliner ever, and I'm just going to go ahead and line the eyes. So I'm just going to apply this on the root, y'all. We still want it to look diffused. I'm going to be taking some makeup remover on a q-tip and just really clean up my under eyes because with that black eyeshadow I got a lot of fallout but what I like when doing this is I get to really clean the edge what I did was just pinch the q-tip and that was it so it cleaned up very nicely now I'm just going to go ahead and coat my top lashes for my falsies I'm going to be taking these cocoa lashes in the style Stella I have never tried this style but oh my god it's like so me they are so dramatic I feel like I like these better than the uh uh, goddess oh my goodness as you can see there's a huge difference like false lashes are a must for me before I apply foundation I'm gonna be taking this Clinique pep start moisturizer it came in like a little kit oh my god this is a great moisturizer it almost feels like I'm just applying a bunch of pore filler all over my face it's so thick so moisturizing oh I love this now I'm taking this hourglass stick foundation I am taking the color buff this has been like my go-to foundation lately I don't think I've used it on my channel but I've been using this like every single day now I'm taking my maracuja oil and applying this just everywhere I've been using also my oil for everything I don't feel like I would use this for summer but I feel like this is getting colder now I don't have a problem using this and it's so moisturizing it makes the foundation look a million times better and it blends out so nicely I am gonna be taking my beauty blender just because I feel like I did apply a little bit more product than usual so this is just gonna help me like not get a cake face you know what I mean hmm. I'm gonna take my NARS radiant cream and concealer in the color vanilla and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this underneath the eyes to conceal and I'm also gonna highlight my t-zone so oh, I'm also gonna be taking the concealer to like clean up the edges of that eyeliner as you can see just so it looks so cut and I'm just gonna take this on the forehead nose cupid's bow and chin I am taking this contour as a girl's best friend by Felvin 59 cream contour palette and I like to take this first shade right here and I always like to use my maracaju Mar whoa my maracaju why am I struggling the oil from Tarte and I like to take that color and just contour my face with it and then I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just basically blend this all out So now to bake the face, I'm taking the uh, Kat Von D Locket Translucent Powder. I'm going to just apply this as usual underneath the eyes and my T-zone. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and just really blend this out. I did notice, like, y'all, I don't know if it was a powder or it was just me, but, like, it didn't blend out that well. It was, like, clinging onto my skin, which is weird because, like, I didn't even let this sit on for a minute on my face. So here I am, like, struggling, trying to remove the powder. And as you can see, I have, like, a white cast underneath my eyes. So I don't even know this gives, like, flashback and pictures, which I thought it did not because it didn't look bad with flash. But, like, it was a struggle trying to, like, get that white cast off my face <laughs> so now to contour the face I'm taking the Kat Von D shade in light and I'm gonna be first starting off with shadow play which is just I guess a warm light color just to warm up the face so I'm just applying this on the cheeks my forehead and all that good stuff so now I'm gonna be taking subconscious and this is a cool tone shade so I'm gonna be applying this right underneath the cheekbones just to really contour it cover it out and I'm also applying this on the forehead 
I'm taking the Too Faced Love Flush blush in the color Justify My Love and I think it's like the perfect pink for this look so I'm applying this just right on the cheeks. And then now time for highlight. I'm going to be taking Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill. This is like one of the best highlighters ever. I don't think I'll ever get over this one because it's so beautiful. So I'm just applying that on my cheekbones, nose, and cupid's bow. So as you can see, I already have my brows drawn in. If you guys want to see a little mini tutorial, I just posted one on my Instagram. Go follow me. It's my touch of glam, just like my YouTube. So now I'm just applying this Frankie Rose uh, pencil liner on my waterline and I dragged it a little bit underneath the lower lash line now for me to blend out the black a little bit I'm taking Java which is that dark brown and I'm pretty much just diffusing all that smoking it out just like I like it then I'm taking the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Cupcake and I'm taking a bigger brush and applying this underneath that this is like working as my transition color but underneath the lower lash line so this is gonna really help everything look more diffused I'm going to take some black eyeshadow and an angled brush and apply this right underneath that lower lash line. I'm going to keep it as close to the lash line as possible just because I want to intensify the eyes, but I don't want to drag that black too low because then it's going to look like I have a black eye. So now that we have that done, I'm just going to go ahead and coat the bottom lashes. Moving on to my lips, I'm taking this MAC Sore Lip Liner and I'm just going to go ahead and line my entire lips with this. And then I'm taking this Dose of Colors Lego Lipstick in the color Stone. I love this color. It is a go-to for sure. It's very mauve -y and I thought it went perfect with this look. So that pretty much completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this look. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!